concoct a potion that will make you transparent. Say what now? <laughs> um, if orange is between the blue, but the red can't be on the far right. So if the red, okay, 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 okay. 25 seconds, we almost there. Almost there. Ah! Oh, no, 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 I wasn't next to the button. Oh no. Did it come out correctly, do you think? Hi you guys and welcome to the Shan Caravan. In today's video, we're back with my Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. We're on a mission. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky, little lines dies. <laughs> We've got a dangerous mission as Princess Peach. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Yeah, all right, I guess this one. Not that door. Mm -mm, not that door. I forgot how big this area is. My gosh. This a door. Ooh, I see some beakers. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. Say what now? <laughs> you mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay. How do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. <laughs> it's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. <laughs> Let's see. Note, do not place the red potion on the far right. Okay, far right, no red. Note, place the blue potion next to the red potion. Okay. Okay, what's this note? Note, place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Tuning to be between the green and the red. We know that the blue is gonna be... Okay. If I have to place two between... <laughs> Note, place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Okay, that sets it. Hold on. If orange is between the blue, but the red can't be on the far right. So if the red was like in the middle, and you had the orange between the blue and the green, then you'd have the- Okay, 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 okay. Green's gonna go here. Orange is between the green and the blue. God, this took longer than it should have. And the blue is next to the red. But the red is not on the far right. Yes. <laughs> are you sure they are placed to your liking? Very well. Then please cue the buttons on the control panel located on the left side of the room. Me, me, me. Okay. <laughs> there <are> more. <laughs> please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. What? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so freaked out. Go. Yeah. We doing it. Oh. Hey. Nope. Hey. Hey, we did it. I will heat the mix potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. I was using a timer to like <laughs> keep track of how long this recording session is going, but I'm gonna use it for this. Oh God, let's drop my phone. At least it wasn't on my face. Let's do this. Okay, it's going. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. So we're gonna hang out for 30 seconds. Gotta love technology. I remember as a kid playing once so I was like, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. 
and uh, hoping I got it right. 25 seconds. We almost there. Almost there. Ah! I wasn't next to the button! Oh no! We'll see if that counts or not. <laughs> By my calculations, it should be finished. But did it come out correctly, do you think? <laughs> Very good. Then please drink it, all of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. What did you think you were supposed to do? Inject yourself with it? Please, you must drink it. Oh, go. Hey, it's still counted. There must be like a leeway of a couple seconds. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. But I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Tech, I knew you was freaky, but come on now. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent. No way. I'm a lady. I'm a little lady. A little lady misfortune. <laughs> oh, fine. I guess if that's the only way. I guess if that's the only way. <laughs> I like that she walked off camera. It's just a shadow. Jesus, they were wild with this game. <laughs> When you go into Sir Grotus' room, first locate the disc with the recorded data. Then insert that disc into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus' room. Imagine if this only lasts for so long and you waste it. <laughs> oh? What? Okay, that was creepy. Why are the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction? Am I just totally losing it here? Oh, you losing it. <laughs> we all crazy. We all mad down here. <laughs> um, excuse, excuse me. Oh, so, sorry. Yeah, excuse <laughs> You all think that's weird, bruh? Sir just needs to get some more help because these guys are a little bit, uh, scruggling. <laughs> also, how do I have a shadow if there's nothing, like, blocking? Or there's nothing that's, like, you know... There's nothing disrupting the light for there to be a shadow. But I guess they need some way for you to know where you're going. This must be Grotus's room. Now, where is that disc? really hard to see with the... Can I open it? Well, okay. Here's this computer at least, but I still need that darn disc. I love all the little mechanical cheap cheeps in the background. Oh, those are the things that bite you if you like fall in the water. I should know this as many times as I've fallen in the water. Found it! This must be it! You got a data disc. I like the fisher like. <laughs> A disc from Grotus's room. What kind of data is on it? Um, oh yeah, now I insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. Data disc. I did it, yes! I did it, it's working! <laughs> I like how it's like a little Mario. And a Luigi. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's all done. I'd better put the disc back where I got it. There. Like I was never here. Like a little ninja. Ninja. <laughs> ninja little lady misfortune. Once. <laughs> I'm gonna stop making references. I mean, you could go and watch the video so you'd know what I'm talking about. Unless you've already same misfortune and if you actually saw my let's play of it like thank you so much i really appreciate it it was really cool seeing that people liked it and enjoyed it you know still somewhat new to this and it just means a lot that people are receptive of my content 
Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one moment. Say, girl, boy, boy, bye. <laughs> Gotta have the earrings and everything. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? What happens if you do drink the other potions? Incorrect, Princess Peach. That potion will not revert you back to normal. Worth a try. <laughs> what a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. If there was no like d worry or danger of that, why were you so scared for me to do this mission? I guess it was more so just going into Grotus' room. Hey, wait, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted, but it, my prediction is correct. If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use your communicator. Thanks. God, that toad voice really messed up my throat. <laughs> I've written my message. Would you send it? <laughs> the message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Oh, hi. You're welcome, Tech. The, the fact that she sees absolutely nothing wrong with this, I'm like, well, it actually does make sense because Princess Peach is used to being captured and, like, God knows what Bowser has her doing when he's got her in her castle. She's just like, okay, cool. What are we doing today? <laughs> Princess Peach, I will protect you. Oh, Tech's so sweet. Creepy. Creepy. No boundaries, but he's sweet, I, I guess. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Save all the game progress. <laughs> oh, back at Twilight Town. Grotus. And <laughs> I'm not scared of Black. What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. Uh, what do it do? You know, I actually do want to hear what they have to say first. Eek! Shh, shh, ooh. What about you? No, no! Am I gonna be turned into a pig again? Aw. Anything interesting? P -p huh? Crystal Star? I have no idea, really. P please spare me. <laughs> I'm dreaming. Yep, just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. I like that mentality of just, nope, this ain't happening. <laughs> Eek! <laughs> All right, don't die on me now. <clears throat> oh man, I'm pretty sure Belden said she lost her super bomb mom somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else. Oh, just ignoring me. <laughs> Bam, got it, I am the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Dun, 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 d
But <laughs> the luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. What are these, like, phrases you speak in? You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Oh, somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too, sweet. This will help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know now. Uh, actually, it's you who's going to spill every bit of info out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Oh, there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of you? <laughs> if you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. How, who are you calling chubby? Uh, cot, pot, <laughs> wow, pot calling the kettle black. All troops report. That was quick. <laughs> Yeah, you like that. Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? Feel like talking yet? So don't come for the Koopa King! <laughs> you dare scoff at us! Koopa Clan! Form up! <laughs> Whoa. Well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Oh, I got to laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this turtle, dorks. Super bomb on. <laughs> Sound effect. <laughs> huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crud. <laughs> Oh, crud is right. <laughs> the face. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Rumble going crazy. Yes, please. <laughs> hey. This is how we're going to get back home. <laughs> you. You have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Roeport in no time. Let's just get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see Captain Mario. Uh, Mario? Okay, I was like, I don't know who's talking. We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will you? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without the ghosts, eh? <laughs> Yes, very good. They'll be rather happy here, eh? Let's be on our way. Hmm? Bye! <laughs> Ready, amigos? Oh, I think he said let's go. Let's go! <laughs> Month star, day's circle, and thus our adventure came to an exciting end. Ah, uh, the ship sailed smoothly on to Roport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless. Strange though it sounds, for I have found something even more precious in the balloon. Yes, even now I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wandered the seas, a Flavio's blessings upon you. Flavio. <laughs> At last, we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown. Sweet rogue I don't know who's talking. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all. Hmm? Ah. <laughs> ah, but of course, you all know that, and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. 
What? Where are you? You were all leaving already? That was harsh. You said Bob. <laughs> Such is life. Captain Mario, you are anxious to continue your own adventure also. Ah, uh, one day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you. But you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, ah. Uh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Keyhole Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. <laughs> and him? Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I'll be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I will permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again? Uh? Uh? <laughs> well, 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 old boy, I should think we'd head for that door at this point. Yes, and I'm switching back to you, Bella, because I don't like you dying long. <laughs> Shoot. Hey, that's your ring, Mario. It must be an email from Princess Peach. Check it. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this Tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I, I trust him. Once this analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Wow. That Princess Peach is so totally awesome. Go, girl. We better get to work, too. God, I hate that so much. Maybe I guess because it can be seen as like a microaggression when people talk to me and they're like, You go, girl. Slay Queen, yes! And I'm like, nothing about me. In in the real world, you know, or not the real world, but like in the day to day. Like, I'm very introverted and quiet when I'm not on camera. So it's just like, I'm sitting here, you're just like, yes, Queen, slay! And I'm like, okay. It's a Tuesday, I need you to calm it down, Karen. <laughs> Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazzafras Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Oh, it was pretty nutty, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Oh, really? You're lost, bro. Maybe I'll tell you about it some other time. Hmm? Yeah, I'll check into... I'll have to read through all his at some later point. I'm hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on a tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> Dang, first of all, you're not red. <laughs> Just grass. Dang, you don't even get a tree roll. Just the grass. Alrighty, so let's see here. That must be the, the little thing of jig. RDM. Anything important? Dusk today, Gumez, napping in town, eating flowers, stern talking to, uh, Twilight Shop. Puppy's bad side. <laughs> Don't you a smiling at my wife? I'm hers for life, and you fancy big city teeth aren't gonna change that. <laughs> <laughs> you fancy big city. <laughs> I cannot. He's probably talking about the veneers and people like they have a horse mouth. Like, bro, ain't nothing natural about that. <laughs> a mouthful of front teeth. <laughs> and chiclets. Alright, that's enough of that. <laughs> Let's go uh, find out where our next um, crystal star is gonna be at. Oh, god, you scared me. <laughs> Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. 
in the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately. <laughs> but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and uh, tell me immediately. So I can upgrade my partners again if I go to Hotel's Castle and do a little side quest. Uh, I need to do that before I start this next chapter. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Go to the door real quick, and then I guess in the next episode I will Ooh. waste some time, waste some time finding secrets. I think it just takes me back there, but I just wanted to go ahead and get that done out the way. But yeah, I just want to figure out where I'm going next. I guess when I start the next episode, I'll um. Do that side quest. Mm. You were not here before. <laughs> that always freaks me out when, like, you play games that have a lot of backtracking, and as the game progresses, like, new enemies show up in areas. Metroid Prime was big at that, and that used to freak me out because then there'd be, like, the space pirates everywhere. Walk into a room and then you'd be like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Oh, so creepy. <laughs> also, if you'd like to see me play Metroid Prime, leave a comment below. Because I've been really wanting to play the, um, the remake. So bad. So, this star is by far my favorite chapter of this entire game, so I'm really looking forward to this. <laughs> the location of a crystal star was recorded on your magical map. Come on, let's go talk to Professor Frankly. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great news, my friends. The next crystal star is in Poshley Heights. I can't remember what his voice was. Wait a sec. You mean where all the rich and famous live? Like movie stars and stuff? Yes, yes. And I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. So, uh, a little help here? To get to Poshley Heights, we should... That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the XS Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star will be yours. Getting those Crystal Stars has been back-breaking work, but this time will be a cinch. But I thought you had to be, like, rich or famous to get an XS Express ticket. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. I don't know why I'm going Yoda with him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not that psychopath again. Oh, well, I guess we don't have much choice, huh, Mario? Come on, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time left. Hmm, so you must hurry. Just lean into Yoda. <laughs> I'll gather all the information I can. You got. The hell was that? Sorry, people shooting off fireworks like two days before Father's Day. Like, the. F I hate my neighbors. Anyway, I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. Ooh, that was freaky. Mm -hmm.